Hey everyone, and welcome back to Joey's Retro Handhelds. Continuing with my series of making emulators awesome on Android, we started with PlayStation 2 emulation, and I showed how to get 60 FPS, HD textures, widescreen patches, ultra wide patches, and even cheats. Then we moved on to Nintendo Switch emulation, and I showed you how to set it all up to get mods and cheats working as well. Now we're back with GameCube and Wii emulation with Dolphin, and we're going to be looking at HD texture packs, widescreen, and cheats. I'll be using the Dolphin dev build for this video, which you could get from the Google Play Store by joining the beta that's on that page. My device of choice for this video as well is going to be the AYN Odin 2. Like before, I wouldn't call this a beginner's tutorial by any stretch of the imagination, and you'll need to have some familiarity with Android, Dolphin, and computers as a whole. But I'll do my best to make this easy for you, and I'll leave links in the description to everything that I talk about. Keep in mind as well that any of these things could break your game and your save, so I take no responsibility for any of your games or saves breaking, you've been warned. First up is HD Texture Packs, and you could find a whole bunch of them on the Dolphin emulation forums. There's a huge list of games there, and each thread is different, with different instructions on how to do it. But the general idea is all the same. So let's use Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door as my guinea pig for this video. Go ahead and download the Texture Pack from the link in the first post, you can see it there labeled DDS Resource Pack, and it's recommended. Then, when you're done downloading, extract that zip somewhere, and we'll come back to it. On your Android device, inside of Dolphin, head to Settings, Config, User Data, and Export User Data. You can just export it to your internal storage and downloads folder. Because Dolphin's data is hidden behind Android's locked storage section, we have to do it this way as we can't go and edit the files ourselves because of permissions. It's also why you can't do any cloud syncing with Dolphin saves. Connect your device to your PC using a USB cable, and just select File Transfer on your device. You'll want to make sure the screen is on during File Transfer, or you're going to lose connection. So set your screen timeout on your device to 30 minutes or never if you can while we do this. Transfer the dolphin-mu.zip file that we exported from Dolphin, which is in your downloads folder, if you followed what I said, and move it onto your PC. You could just put it anywhere. Then extract that zip file, and we'll come back to it. On your device, in Dolphin, push and hold on the game and select details. Check the game ID, and it should say G8ME01. At least that would be the game ID for Paper Mario. Open the texture pack unzipped folder, inside textures, and make sure the game ID matches. In this case it says G8M, and that's perfect. That's all we need to match. So we know the texture pack we downloaded and the game that we have are compatible. In the dolphin-mu zip folder that we extracted, head to load, textures, and you want to copy the G8M folder from the texture pack to here. Just copy and paste. Now we have to recompress all of this back into a zip file. The easy way is to select all the folders, right click, and choose send to compress zip. However, that didn't work for me. So I had to use 7-zip from 7-zip.org, which everybody should have by now installed anyway, and right-click, 7-zip, add to archive, and choose zip, then start. 
make sure the name of the zip is dolphin-mu.zip. Now transfer that new dolphin-mu.zip file over to your device, and you could just put it in the downloads folder again. You're fine to overwrite the original dolphin-mu.zip if it's still there. You can disconnect from your PC as well after that's done. Open Dolphin and then head to Settings, Config, User Data, and Import User Data. Select the new dolphin-mu.zip file that we moved over and it should load in. Now head to Settings, Graphics Settings, Advanced, and make sure Load Graphics Mods, Load Custom Textures, and Prefetch Custom Textures are all enabled. Then we need to change the game from OpenGL to Vulkan, if it isn't already. And the reason why is because DDS resource packs only work on Vulkan. So just push and hold on the game and go to Edit Game Settings, then Graphics, and then change OpenGL to Vulkan, and this will only apply to this specific game since we did it through Edit Game Settings. Open the game, and you'll see that it says Custom Textures Loading in the top left, which is how you know that it worked. Well, besides the obvious visual differences. There's two ways to do widescreen hacks on these devices. There's the bad way, and then the good way. The bad way is just enabling widescreen hacks in the graphic settings in Dolphin, as it even tells you that it'll break graphics and UIs of some games, so we don't want to do that. The good way is using AR and Gecko codes to do that work for us, since they don't have that issue, and thankfully it's not that difficult to do. Head to the Dolphin wiki page and find the game that you want to add widescreen to, in this example, I'm going to use The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I don't believe that every game has a widescreen code, so just keep that in mind. In Dolphin, make sure that you have Cheats enabled, and that's in Settings, Config, General, Enable Cheats. Push and hold on a game, and then select Edit Cheats, and you should see a whole bunch of cheats already there. Scroll down to Add New Gecko Codes. Now you want to add the Gecko Code from the wiki, but it's pretty long and you want to visit the wiki page on your device's browser and then copy and paste it from there. That's how I would do it and it's the easiest way. Add the code in to Dolphin and you can name the code whatever you want, but I figure that widescreen 16x9 is a good thing to remember. Now for me, the screen kept closing. But don't worry, every time you click Add New Gecko Codes, it should remember where you left off and you should be right back to what you were doing. Now, here comes the fun part. You might be lucky and you could click Save and off you go and it all works. But for me, it never did. So I had to actually edit the code because I kept getting an error that says Error on Line 1, Error. So to fix that, the first thing you need to do is add a dollar sign to the front of the first line, and then you have to fix all of the lines. To fix them, go to the end of each line, push delete, and then enter. There seems to be some included space at the end of each line that Dolphin just doesn't like. So go through each line one by one, delete, and enter to fix it all. You should be able to click save after that and it's done. Now, make sure the cheat is actually enabled, and then boot up the game, and you're set. The first time I did this, I enabled the cheat, and then booted up the game, but it turned out the cheat wasn't actually enabled. So I had to go back and re-enable it again. Just a heads up, in case you run into that issue as well, but either way, if it's actually enabled, the game will be using 16x9 perfectly, and it's widescreen. This is awesome. One more note. 
Pay attention to the instructions on the wiki page. In this case, it wants you to make sure that widescreen hacks are disabled for this specific game. So you can do that via the per game settings, or I would personally suggest just doing it globally and having it always disabled. But other codes might need other things for you to do, so it's always good to remember just to do per game settings by pushing and holding onto a game and selecting edit game settings and doing whatever the wiki tells you to do. Cheats are extremely easy, and you already saw them in the section before. The emulator has them built in. Head to a game, push and hold on it, and select Edit Cheats. But make sure that you've enabled cheats already like I showed in the widescreen section. And there you go, they're all there. Now, if you want more, you can scroll down to Download Gecko Codes and select that to download a whole bunch more. Between both of those, you should have all of the cheats and codes you could ever want. That's going to be it for this one, the ultimate, best, most fantastic guide to making GameCube and Wii awesome on any Android device. Don't forget to like and sub to help the channel grow, and hope you all have a good one.